Okay, so in our last video, we talked about basic starter vices and uh, for around $200. And uh, the winner for me in that comparison between the three vices that we use was the Renzetti Traveler 2000. So for people who want to spend just a little bit more money or if you're upgrading from your starter vice and you want a vice that is going to be solid enough that your children and your grand or your grandchildren will inherit it, I want to show you the difference between this 2000 Traveler and the Renzetti Presentation 4000. Now, um, as I stated in the other video, I tied for nearly 30 years on the predecessor to this Traveler 2000, and I actually never thought I would upgrade. Never thought I would upgrade. Well, I got some money for Christmas, and I was feeling a little cheeky, so I went ahead and spent the 469 compared to the 195 to get this presentation 4000. Uh, let me tell you, it's uh, kind of like the difference between driving your reliable old Plymouth and stepping up to a Cadillac. The, the smoothness and the strength and the stability of this vice, uh, even though this Traveler 2000 is a very, very stable, excellent vice, especially for starting out, um, the presentation just uh, exceeded all expectations that I had for it. So I want to run through the features real quick. Um, what makes them so different? So the jaws are the heart of your vice, any vice, because you have to hold the hook. Now these jaws are very basic. It's got a cam lever, and I don't know if you can see it right now, but I've got a size 28 uh, Verivos hook, which is a, a super fine wire hook in the jaws of this, and it holds it just fine. The presentation will do the same thing. I've actually had down to a 32 Verivos in there, which is uh, about the thickness of a piece of uh, heavy office paper, and it holds it just fine. Um, so to use these jaws, you, it's got this cam lever right here, and one side of the center of this is wider, one portion in the circle of it is wider, and one side is thinner. So when you pull it this way, it's thinner, and when you pull it that way, it's thicker, and that's what closes the jaws using the adjustment knob right here. And they're basically the same on these two vices, except that the knob itself is a little bit bigger on the presentation and I kind of like that a little bit better. But these jaws have bearings on either side which make that actuation a little bit smoother whereas the jaws on the Traveler are just, uh, it does have the bearings but they're smaller and they're, for me, they're not quite as smooth and I believe the grade of steel is just a little bit higher on the presentation. Uh, one of the things is the size of the base. You've got a five by five base on the Traveler and a six by six base on the uh, presentation. And the difference in the size of that base, it adds about three quarters of a pound, which gives you just a little bit more stability. Uh, another difference is the knob that locks the stem in. You can see on the Traveler, it's, it's kind of small. You can get a good grip on it, but uh, it's hard to get that where it's 100% locked down. Whereas with this presentation, with that super large knob, you can really crank down on that. I've actually gotten it so tight a couple of times that when I wanted to take it apart to move it, I had a hard time getting it loose. So it's a, it is a big difference right there. The uh, Traveler, the stem is aluminum. So, and the stem on the presentation is stainless steel, which actually helps to add a little bit more weight. The uh, rotary shaft on the Traveler is aluminum. The rotary shaft on the uh, presentation is, again, stainless steel. 
And then for our bobbin rest uh, mount and our uh, little slide mount here, these two pieces on the presentation are anodized to a copper finish, as is the uh, piece that holds the jaw onto the vise. Now both of these have a dual rotary tension. You use this knob right here is your secondary and your primary operates basically the same but I'm going to say it completely different. On the, <laughs> on the traveler you've got a screw the handle and then another screw knob and all that does is you can see that sliding back and forth that adjusts the tension between the two spacers here which are nylon and the rotary head so to adjust that you just screw that front screw till you get the tension that you're looking for and it's a little tricky to get used to doing this until you've done it a couple of times but just keep playing with it and you'll get it grab the head and grab the screw let your handle drop down I like to try to keep it even with the head the jaws on the vise get those all exactly where you want them and then just torque that down by hand uh, I don't recommend using pliers or anything on that because you will scar these up and uh, you can get it locked down to where you will over tension on this one spacer right here and it kind of squishes it now for the presentation it's a little bit different I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way you've got a screw right on the back and you can see it's a Phillips screw the primary tension adjustment on this is internal uh, I don't have a Phillips screwdriver but I think I can get that out it's got a little uh, o-ring on it why I don't have a Phillips screwdriver nobody knows I didn't prep well enough there we go we'll get that out now you'll see in here Deep down in, there's a hole in there, deep down in there, which you will not be able to see, is where your tension is adjusted for your main tension. First thing you want to do is loosen off the secondary tension and then find the right Allen wrench, which is the smallest one that comes with the vise. And you'll put that in there, and I'm not going to adjust this because it's, it's a little bit tricky, and I've got this thing set exactly where I want it. But you'll loosen that off and do the same thing that you did with the Traveler. Turn this to either tighten it or loosen it, and it will apply more tension to your spacers between the head and the screw. And then you torque your screw back down. Once you've got that done, you tighten this down. Now this has got a ratcheting, a one-way ratcheting handle on it, and you can leave that loose and just put your Phillips screw in the back to keep it from coming off. Or I prefer actually to just keep that stationary. So I just line it up with the head of the vise torque that down and I don't keep that set that uh, Phillips screw very tight I like to keep it kind of loose just enough tension on that uh, o-ring to hold it in place and that's your tension and the the uh, tension adjustment on that is super smooth again the uh, adjustment on the Traveler is great. It feels really good. But the difference between the two, like I said, is an old reliable Plymouth and a brand new Cadillac. So if you're looking to spend a little bit more money on a vise and you want something that is super versatile, this thing will hold anything from the smallest dry fly hook you can get to the biggest, uh, Renzetti says, up to a 10-aught. Um, 
and I've never put a 10 on that 10 aught in there but I'm pretty sure it will hold it and it will hold it solidly um, I can lift this vise up using that hook that's how stout these jaws are so if you want a Cadillac check out the Renzetti presentation 4000 um, I may give you a look at the master here in a future video which is even another step up from the presentation so till next time Peace, love, and fly fishing, my friends.